Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you a couple things about managing your students on off to class. So I'm here on my student management tab, this yellow button, and I can see all the students that I have registered to my account. I can also see how many active students I currently have. I've got 11 active students and I've got a plan that a subscription that allows me to have 15 active students. So I'm using 11 out of my 15 spots up here. And here, the ones that are that are shadowed out, that are, are faded out, the students that are faded out are actually inactive. And the full color students are active. So these are all my active students. So I'll just click on one of my students to give you a little tour of the student profile. So up at the top, I've got the notes. So anytime I've saved a note about my student from within the classroom, it gets saved up here. And I can determine which note I want to be sticky, so to always appear at the front. And I can edit any note and delete any note. And I can always see the date and the lesson of where a note was taken. And I can even add new notes here. If I think of something up after class, I can add a new note here. Now, down below, I've got the lesson history table. So I've got a record of every lesson I've ever taught my student on off to class. And in the homework column, I've got a, um, a status of the homework, of whether it was assigned and whether it's been completed or reviewed by me. So next to the lesson history table, I've got a learning plan. So this is the learning plan that was created um, when my students sat the placement test. So these are all the lessons from the placement test and a status of whether I've taught them. So a very important link um, when you're managing your students is this student info and settings. So when I press that, I can control the student's account. And there's a couple of things I wanted to show you in the student info and settings. So you can actually upload a picture of your student. So if you don't want to use one of these avatars as your student's profile, you can actually upload a picture. Now these, whether you upload a picture or use an avatar, these are only for your own reference. Your student does not see this picture, nor do they see the avatar. This is just for you to personalize your off to class so you can remember who each student is. Um, up at the top left here, is where you can set your student between active and inactive. And what happens is that effectively, if your student is active and your student decides to stop learning with you, you don't need to delete them. Don't delete the student. Um, what you do is you set them to inactive. And what will happen is your student will become faded out on your profile and you obviously won't be able to register them into new lessons while they're set to inactive, but they also won't be taking up a spot on your active student capacity. If they come back in the future, um, let's say two months down the line, three months down the line, and decide to start learning with you again, all you do is come back to their profile and set them to active, which will mean you can start registering them in lessons again and you'll have all their lesson history, placement test history, and homework history ready to go from before. So that's a very important point. Generally, we would always recommend not to remove students, not to delete students, because that is a permanent action and then you will lose all the history of the student. Just set them to inactive. If there's any chance they'll come back and learn with you, just set your student to inactive. So finally, you can edit your student's nickname. You can update your student's password. Um, this is really helpful if your student can't remember their password. You can update the password here. We'll send you that update to your email address and you can share that with the student. Um, if your student changes email addresses, you can update it here. And you can also always change your student's interface language. So again, um, when you set up a student, you have the choice to change the off to class interface language into your student's native language. So my student here, Jose, is set to English, but if I found out that Jose down the line um, doesn't really have the web literacy in English to work on off to class, I could always change um, to my student's um, native language. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.